Kiga County. Good morning, lady and gentlemen. Karibuni sana. Morning. Let's delve straight. Let's go for the big one. Of course, this is how we will run October poll according to the IEBC. Clearly, NASA is not satisfied and they insist they will go back uh, to demonstrations. Of you and I, let's start with you. Uh, you of course, your party and uh, the NASA coalition received uh, that response on your irreducible minimums from the IEBC. Uh, and uh, they gave their, part, uh, their side of the story. They say, this is what we can do. This will still go on as planned. What do you say to that? Are we still going for demonstrations well, this morning? Well, well Fr Fred, uh, looking at the roadmap as uh, outlined uh, by the IBC, uh, it really confirms our fears that this is an institution that is not willing or ready to give Kenyans a free, fair, credible election. They seem not to have learned their lesson from the Supreme Court judgment. And to them, it is business as usual. We are certainly not satisfied. And uh, it must also go on record that the, the irreducible minimum conditions, nine of them, still stand. And from where we sit, and since, since they haven't attempted to, to, to even meet any one of them, in our view, uh, our position remains, there can be no elections under the circumstances. Okay, yes. some of the highlights, and uh, this is, I'm reading straight from the front page of the Daily Nation. The Commission has had the opportunity to contextualize the issues emerging from the Supreme Court judgment. And the chairman says, one, al printing and publishing will print the ballot papers and the attendant result forms because it has a two-year contract with the Commission. Second, Otimo for Safran will continue to manage the ICT KIM system due to time constraints. Uh, the Commission will, however, use a cloud server and backup platform. Three, Safaricom will be requested to deploy Kim's Kids tablet SIM cards in all the 40,883 polling stations across the country owing to its wide <coughs> network coverage. Four, the election will be managed by a project team that will report directly to the steering committee composed of IBC chairman and commissioners. And five, the Kenya integrated election management system has been reconfigured to ensure that no test result is sent without the scanned images. Now, surely, Bonopio and I, even before I move to the uh, uh, others, uh, IEBC <coughs> appears to have uh, really gone out of its way to, to, to build some confidence. Uh, how come you're still uh, maintaining your hardline stance on this? Well, well it is not true. Uh, and and uh, Fred, you will agree with me that uh, the IEBC, the way the manager is behaving, re really confirms that it is uh, under some capture <laughs> by some forces, uh, which are strange because. You, you look at the, the raft of conditions we gave the IBC. They are really very, very reasonable conditions. And one of those conditions is that there are a number of individuals who are directly indicted by the Supreme Court who should give way. And now what do you see? The IBC chairman wants us to believe that by putting together some so-called uh, project team which would, be, which would be reporting directly to a steering committee. Let me tell you, I've, have, I've had the opportunity to work in the corporate world for a number of years. What we have in the IBC currently is akin to a corporate organization. And the commissioners can be equated to a board of directors, okay, who represent the, who, the, 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 the interests of, this, of, the, of the owners of the company. The person running the show is the chief executive officer. So there is no way you will convince us that by picking on some, some junior staffers and making them uh, form a project, project team and reporting to the board of directors and, by, and therefore bypassing the CEO, who still remains as their AE holder, the person who actually controls the past things, is the, the CEO. So you are basically playing mind games with us. At but the end of the day, yes. in a corporate organization, the, the, the employees, the staffers, owe their loyalty to the line manager. Who actually does the appraisal? So, so, so what Mr. Bukati is doing will not, will not, will not pass. Uh, and therefore, uh, it really confirms our fears that uh, uh, this country uh, uh, is, is in for a uh, rude shock. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Senator Ledama Olekina, uh, there's, there's another interesting headline on page 7 of the Standard, still to do with IEBC's plans for the elections, and this one reads differently. Well, this one says uh, that IEBC will still go on with the printing of ballot papers with Al Guraya. 
On the page 7 of the standard, IBC has sealed a new ballot deal with UN agency. Uh, Dubai-based Algorai may lose, might lose a lucrative deal to print ballot papers for the fresh presidential election slated for October 26th. This is because IBC has struck a deal with the United Nations Development Program, UNDP, to shop for another supplier following demands by opposition leaders. It, it appears IBC is really trying uh, to actually give in to some of the demands made by NASA. But surely, is it possible to run a, an election entirely on the demands of one side of the political divide? Um, uh, thank you so much, Fred. And I think I actually wanted to make uh, a point on that, that it, it's imperative that... Uh, we are either honest, maybe the media is reporting differently. Mm. I had uh, read in the nation that uh, the request for the Commonwealth, I think the UN um, agency to print the documents had been sent to Treasury so that they can be able to get the go ahead. And I have to say this, I think, I agree, you have to give credit to where credit is, is, is due. But the biggest problem that Chebukati is doing is that He's gone silent on the demands by NASA coalition for the top people to be able to resign or to step aside. I'll give you some certain example. This country is a brilliant country. When you look at um, uh, other democracies, and I'll give you a good example. In the 1980s, uh, the AG or the Attorney General, or during the, f the height of the fight between the IRA and the British government, at that time, the main suspect of IRA was found to be hiding in the house of the Attorney General. The Attorney General, it was determined that had no clue that this guy was hiding there. But he took responsibility and he resigned. In, in 2014, there was a train accident in India where the minister was actually found to have no, uh, nothing to do with the train accident. But he took responsibility and resigned. So I think it's a high time that if we really care about this country, I think Chebukati must sit down with his team, Chiloba, and say the NASA coalition, who is a big partner in this election, has demanded that you step aside. Since you are found culpable of having um, uh, messed up the, 20, the 2017 um, election, it is a high time that you take responsibility and you step aside. So, so what we are asking is this. What we are asking is this. It is good. I read the newspaper, and if, if everything what the nation said is true, Chebukati is making some progress. If he went ahead and just delivered on all our demands, I mean, they're very minimal. And that's the question, because uh, are we saying that the election can only be run entirely on demands you, made, you know, made by one you, side? Let me, let me, all these demands are from your side. Fred, there must be some give if, and take. If the other side, if my friends from Jubilee, really wanted us to sit down like gentlemen, then they would have accorded us the respect that we, we deserve. When His Excellency the President was, uh, as a candidate, was called by IABC to go and meet with our party leader, uh, His Excellency um, um, uh, Raila Amal Odinga, he should have gone there. He shouldn't have sent other people. So really, we've got to show that all of us have got an interest here. So when we realize that um, uh, a certain party want to be treated as if they are superior than the other, then it brings in a lot of problems. So I think what we are asking for is this. Number one, people should be ready to take responsibilities for the future of this country. Number two, His Excellency Uhuru Mwegai Kenyatta should do two things. One, when he's invited, he should go there as a candidate because he's a candidate. Raila Molo Odinga is a candidate. The last time Raila was there for about an hour, Ra Uhuru never showed up. Later, after we left, is when William Ruto showed up. So these are the things that we need to sit down and resolve them peacefully, if we really care about this country. Uh, Senator Isaac Maura, of course, IBC chairperson of Fulache Bukati, has also written a letter to NASA pleading that the alliance does not hold the demonstration slated for today until a planned meeting for tomorrow takes place where they will engage various uh, stakeholders, uh, the stakeholders in this election, and I'm assuming that's Jubilee and NASA on this particular issue. Uh, but there seems to be a lot of grandstanding from both sides. Uh, NASA, yes, theirs is clear. They say they'll go ahead with the protests. But even from Jubilee and Senator Olekina uh, pointed out uh, clearly, uh, Jubilee does not appear keen on such talks either. Don't you think you're also contributing to the problem? I think first and foremost, uh, Fred, 
uh, it's good to make things clear because I've had uh, people trying to mislead the country that uh, there were people who were inducted by the Supreme Court. The Supreme, the Supreme Court never inducted anybody. In fact, after the rather tearing apart of the symbolic or pedestrian in a ruling by the majority four, who very curiously Fred said numbers did not matter, but yet they went ahead to uh, use their numbers to tyrannize our democracy and uh, try to circumvent the will of the people. They, when they felt so shameful that their heads were looking down after that Supreme Court uh, uh, issue, they said nobody was culpable. <laughs> they said that those were systemic institutional issues. So it is not true to come and tell Kenyans that some people are indicted. There is nobody who has been found culpable. And it's, very, it's a misnomer. That's what you do when you make a political decision, Fred. Uh, you end up with a situation where you say, there is somebody who rummaged this studio, this house, but nobody is capable. So, so, so such damage has been caused so much, but nobody is responsible. Because then you, ha you have an egg in your face. And, um, you know, the Jubilee is not making any demands. Because we know very well that we don't need to bully public institutions to have our way. It is very evident even now that uh, we are campaigning. We've not seen our uh, competitors going out there to really campaign. They, they have a target. Uh, every day they must issue a press conference making wild demands. And even if all of these were acceded to, Fred, they will still make others. But they on, make this issue, on this issue of the they, meeting they will, for tomorrow... No, no, let, me, let me explain. Yes. They will make demands even unto themselves, because they don't believe in even what they are saying. They even get surprised every time they make demands and they are agreed upon. Senator, that is well and good, because <laughs> the problem appears to be on both sides. <coughs> we about this meeting, uh, and uh, we are looking for a way forward. I, uh, today, I, uh, NASA has said they are still going on with their street protests, uh, despite the invitation by Wafula Chebukati to actually hold off on that and actually uh, take part in this uh, uh, dialogue tomorrow where I'm also assuming Jubilee has also been invited but given uh, what Senator uh, Ledamo Olekina has said and we've seen this previously Jubilee does also does not appear keen on having such dialogue don't you think that is also a contribution to the problem? No, I don't think so because last time uh, the ODM group came early deliberately they came way before time so that they can leave early to claim that we were not there on time. Actually, that is not And, and uh, because they know how to lie with their mouths open. I, are you saying tomorrow uh, Jubilee will that be there? I would be surprised if also they came late uh, tomorrow. But Jubilee, uh, through the majority leader last time, said we will not have a situation where IBC is meeting, Jubilee tomorrow is meeting NASA. Yeah. So we need to meet together. But... This is the point and that's the invitation by Wafula Chibukati. Yeah, this is what I want to say. If you have already gone to court to demand about 12 officials to be charged, then you're also holding demonstrations. Exactly what do you want? Yeah. The demonstrations, Fred, are not meant to flush out officials. In fact, Article 99 is very clear mm -hmm. that if you are, you are found guilty, until you exhaust all means of appeal, but in this case, you have not yet even been charged. You've not even been investigated. These are the people who go around town claiming that they are social democrats. Where is the justice for the people they so claim okay. who have committed illegalities and irregularities? Okay, Senator. Um, so, but let, 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 let me finalize my point. So, so the point is, this is not about this is not about individuals. It's just building a political momentum. The, the party leader of NASA has actually said they misled the country, they were not going to court. Can they are trying to fool the country to well well build good. momentum I'm for the about, elections. I'm talking about the grandstanding from both sides. Um, yes? Can I do, I'm talking about the grandstanding and I want to give uh, Bonapatrick Mariru, uh, who is also a Jubilee Party member, an opportunity. Uh, Karibu Zana, and I am assuming uh, this is your first time on this panel. Oh, thank you very much. Yes. Thank you very much. But on this issue of grandstanding from both Jubilee and NASA, on this mm -hmm. issue, because it, it's from both sides, Jubilee mm -hmm. also does not appear keen on having any dialogue sitting across the table uh, with NASA and uh, IABC to actually try and uh, resolve some of these problems. Probably that is what we need as a country. Well, uh, as, as a country, we, we always invest in talking. 
but then you ask, you also have to be very clear what are you talking about what, what, what are the issues on the table um, now we, we there, there were discussions allowed um, that certain officials are culpable and were involved in bangling uh, the last elections and I can tell you NASA was waiting on the wings of the NASA judgment of the, the Supreme Court judgment because they expected that actually the Supreme Court would uh, press a criminal culpability on certain individuals mm -hmm. okay. that didn't happen and I can tell you NASA, every day NASA presses um, uh, certain demands I was surprised actually yesterday to see one of the principal on Aboy Tangra actually saying they have issues even with the Safaricom. <laughs> I can tell you, every day, even today, there will be new demands. And those new demands are actually, it is completely, everyone, everyone who is practical and pragmatic can actually tell these demands, it is almost impossible to meet them. Do you want us to sit on the cloud, the table, and, and agree to suck? And are, you said no, are you saying no to that kind of dialogue? No, I mean, we must also be clear what are the issues. <laughs> I mean, uh, the, the, the DPP is investigating officials, mm -hmm. isn't it? Yes. Do you want us to sit and say Chiroba is actually guilty and investigations are happening under the DPP? In, okay. fact, yes. in fact, let me tell you, NASA themselves wrote and gave DPP ultimatum that you must investigate certain people and certain people must be prosecuted. Before that process is done, they want to go to the street and say, Chiroba, you need to go home. Okay. I mean, is there honesty? Okay, okay. Now, just, and okay, then, gentlemen, and then, gentlemen, and then, let me give uh, uh, Beatrice Adagel, a woman representative. <laughs> I think there's a lot of testosterone here, and uh, probably uh, the reason for the grandstanding. Uh, Beatrice Adagel, uh, from a uh, from a woman's perspective, uh, something has to give. Yes. Uh, if we continue the kind of grandstanding that we are seeing, of course, even the elections uh, become almost uncertain. Uh, don't you think that probably a roundtable sitting with the IEBC, Jubilee on one side and ODM, uh, NASA on the other side, probably is the best solution, that probably even NASA would have to go down on some of its demands and compromise a little bit more in such a forum? Yeah, Fred, you are right. But from the previous last time there was that uh, meeting that was to take place at the IBC whereby our NASA principals were in attendance the Jubilee team didn't come on time <coughs> as it was planned we came in much we saw uh, the debut president rushing in the last minute still we are not certain whether tomorrow's meeting they'll be able to come in on time or not. But even NASA says they're not interested in such a meeting. Yeah, so you see when there is a... the, the other side is adamant like this. Now how do you sit and uh, come to an uh, amicable solution? So the best thing is this. IBC, the way NASA is planning to hold uh, a, a demonstration today, if that is the only language that can be understood, then it has to be that. Okay. Uh, and, and said, if I may, if you allow me. Yes. Uh, you know, the, we, we cannot start treating an election like some rituals that uh, you just need to take the box that it has been done. Mm -hmm. uh, an election is a very serious matter. Uh, and uh, the Supreme Court, and it is abuse ourselves of this notion that the Supreme Court did not indict anyone. That is not true. The Supreme Court did not even need to go further than declaring that the IBC officer, of, officials did commit a uh, certain act uh, that amounted to irregularities and illegalities. That was good enough. They, they didn't need to go further than that. Uh, and who are in charge? That's the question we're asking. And we've identified the persons who are in charge and who under whose watch? Eighty. Eighty or constituencies. They, they form 34 B from 80 constituencies out of the 291 constituencies, including the diaspora were found to have been fake, fake forms, by none other than the Supreme Court process. So, who was in charge? Secondly, there are individuals who are responsible for the display of figures on television screens, yeah. on the public portal of the IBC, figures which they themselves disowned in the Supreme Court. They, they claim those figures were not results, they were statistics, they were what? Now, we have said that the very minimum, these people who are in charge of this fraudulent process, 
need to step aside, need to go <coughs> before any investigation is done. Because you cannot tell us to sit back and wait for some investigation to happen. Uh, uh, God knows when they'll be so completed. Uh, 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 there's a headline to that a particular yeah. investigation. It's on page 8 of the standard. Detectives to deliver IEBC probe report within two weeks. So that will definitely happen before the next elections. I think it is not right, Fred, for us to come here I wish I would and, 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 and lie to Kenyans that, number one, that there were fake forms. It is on record from the dissenting opinion and even now, right now as we speak <laughs> is a team that is put, being put together to, investi to investigate that actually it appears that uh, the, the majority relied on fake forms supplied by the petitioner to make a fake ruling and, and that is on record to them no, 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 and, and that is on record you cannot come like 80 out of 291 forms are actually fake that is in question even now we speak Senator Olekina you know I'm actually surprised that my brother here would try two things to misrepresent facts. The first thing he stated was that during the meeting which was called by IABC, NASA went there late. When it is on record that the meeting was scheduled for 11 a.m., NASA got there at 11.20. And then uh, Jubilee never showed up. That is, that is one thing. Uh, Senator Mora, I think it is important for us not to trivialize this matter, sure. for us to be able to put things in perspective. What we are calling for is responsibilities. You need to take responsibility. This country is very important yeah. for us. What is happening, uh, Fred, is that we're finding a situation whereby we are, we've got some certain competing interests. You know? it is, we have a lot of double talk. We have a lot of double standards. When Jubilee goes to the street, you know, my brother here has quoted the Constitution. I will tell him that Article 3 of the Constitution clearly says that every person has a right to defend this Constitution. Mm -hmm. The Supreme Court came out very clear and stated that the institution, IABC, and the institution is not just a house, there are people who are responsible did not carry out the, uh, uh, the election according to the constitution. Yeah, so what we are calling for is responsibility. Okay. We are defending the constitution. When yes, we go yes, to yes. the street, <laughs> it is our right Friend. to ticket. Yes, so when Bukati says uh, that we cannot go, he is requesting us to yeah. wait, we yeah. can't allow that. Friend, yes, Friend, 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 Friend uh, you know, I, I, I like what the senator is saying. He's actually saying a very good thing. That look, the constitution gives NASA and every Kenyan right to uh, demonstrate, that is one side of his mouth. The other side of his mouth says we shouldn't even wait essentially for even the investigation uh, that is being carried out by the DPP. We should go to the street and we should force Chiromba and the team. By the way, I have been asking myself for the last few weeks, how comes NASA actually is specific that certain 10 staff should be sent home because they bangled elections. Is it an investigation they did that we don't know? Wh what is it that they are allocating responsibility to certain staff? They have said, of course, the Supreme Court said there were certain systematic challenges. How comes NASA now has gone and said it is Chiroba, <laughs> it is this one, it is this one? Why can't you wait for the two weeks for the investigations? By the way, even me, I'm very keen to see what actually happened to these elections. Okay. This, uh, this, uh, this bangled election, who was actually responsible? Now, the same constitution that the center is talking about says the agency that can tell us what happened is the DPP and the anti-corruption. They have formally been engaged to do that. Why can't we wait? Why do we want to go to the street? Sir, by the way, it's not rocket science. By the way, by the way, there is a culture of impunity that is creeping in, where if you if if a certain something happens in a certain institution, you get in from anywhere and say the responsibility lies with you and you and you. What, what type of country are we building, honestly? Okay. There Sadagala, has to be some bit of order. Beatrice Sadagala, do you have any way forward uh, for now? Because it appears uh, all the gentlemen uh, have decided they will persist with their grandstanding. <laughs> uh, Fred, the way forward, this, the, 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 the demands for NASA have, the, because NASA is the aggrieved party, those minimum whatever the demands must be met in full in full for us to have a credible election as it has been set 
nothing short than that i don't think we are going to have wow. credible elections. Is there any person on this panel this morning who is interested in this invitation by uh, UBC Chairperson of Fulache Bukati to a dialogue? Fred Anyone mm, interested? Yes. Fred, let me, let me, uh, first and foremost, Fred, let me, your party wait, is biased. Fred, we have, we have three people against two. Fred, let me, Fred, let me, 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 this meeting that uh, Fula Chibukati is calling for tomorrow, fine, uh, nobody has an issue with that meeting. Mm -hmm. You can go ahead and, sure. and convene the meeting. Mm -hmm. But I've seen from his communication, the agenda he has laid out, uh, in my view, that agenda is not comprehensive. He should have actually uh, uh, put one of the agenda items uh, as the minimum conditions given by NASA. Needs to be discussed uh, uh, in detail and, and, and as we are found. But more importantly, Fred, we cannot say that once you have written to the IDC or to the DPP or to whoever to carry out investigations or take certain actions, that that stops you from exercising your constitutional right to demonstrate for anything under the sun. But more importantly, my friend uh, from Laikitia is suggesting that uh, we have got no capacity to determine who was responsible for what. I, I want to say that is, that, that, is, that is not correct. Everybody knows that in a corporate organization, Tasks are divided. Yeah. Roles right. are sure. clearly are clearly divided, divided. and yes. people are supposed to be responsible for their dockets. Mm -hmm. Yes, and the, <coughs> and the Supreme Court judgment has really uh, laid out very clearly uh, which areas had problems, and there are people who are in charge of those areas. These are the guys who have said must go home mm -hmm. as a bare minimum. And, and, and more importantly, more importantly, nobody should start claiming that perhaps uh, uh, NASA is making outrageous uh, demands mm -hmm. and conditions. Let them tell us out of the nine conditions NASA has but uh, you're one, not, you're which not one is impossible to implement. On, on which forum will this be discussed? No, this because we are all discussing them on newspapers and on political Fred. platforms. Fred, let me IBC I, I, chairperson, gentlemen, IBC chairperson of Bukati has invited all sides <coughs> to a meeting. All of you are saying none of you is interested in. No, 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 no. I think, Fred, for purposes of fairness of this debate, because these people are three and we are two, <laughs> when they speak, the two of them will give one of us to speak. I've <laughs> given you a chance. <laughs> yes, yes. Let, let, let me speak now, because <laughs> also at least it's good to be fair that way. So that also this station is seen to go ahead <laughs> to, be, to be to be neutral. Yeah. So the, what I want to say is this: uh, we have been told officially, Fred, that um, some people are not interested in dialogue. I think uh, it is on record that uh, we were told that the only time ODM people are going to engage is when there is a national stakeholders forum. So that national stakeholders forum, I don't know who is going to convene. I don't know whether that national stakeholders forum means uh, demonstrations. I don't know whether... We're not even talking about the national stakeholders no, forum. I'm talking the about... The 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 listen, Fred. We are talking about what the, the other side has demanded. So for, for us to have a situation where today you know, people are saying they are going to demonstrate. Le let me say this. It's quite unfortunate that we can come on national television to threaten people and to say that people must do according to what we want. The truth of the matter is nobody has monopoly over who can demonstrate. Senator, my question was very straight. It's <laughs> you cannot tell us. It's about the invitation by Rafael <laughs> That's why I'm saying, Fred. because that has, has failed to be acceded to, some people are demonstrating today. And what we are saying has been <laughs> fair enough. Nobody has got monopoly of a demonstration. You cannot be telling us that in the institution should be independent only when they favor you. You cannot be interpreting the constitution to suit your political demands. The constitution is not a preserve on one side of the political divide. Mm -hmm. It is because of that <coughs> constitution that today we are talking about IBC telling us that we have an election on 26th of October. When we come on national television to tell people that there is, there, there is not going to be elections, on what basis okay. are we saying that there will be no elections? Why would you want to subvert yeah, the work of an independent commission? Why would you want to deny Isaac Mora and the people uh, like him and the others the right to vote just because of your political demands? I think there is something very, very wrong. Okay. Yeah. Another uh, headline yeah. reads, and uh, you'll allow me here, uh, page five of the Daily Nation, clergy to initiate electoral agency talks. Now, this is beyond the clergy. IEBC. No, you no. both said you're not interested in what the IEBC chairperson has to say, so the invitation by IEBC uh, goes to not. 
uh, both Jubilee and NASA are not interested. There's another one here, clergy to initiate electoral agency talks. Religious leaders have initiated plans to bring Jubilee and the National Super Alliance to the negotiating table in an attempt to avert a situation that could undermine the October 26 presidential poll uh, rerun. That's on page 5 of the Daily Nation. Anyone interested in that? Um, well, let me, let uh, me just respond to something. You know, um, I love uh, the way my brother is talking. He's really speaking double talk. When he talks about the issue of demonstration, when he talks about the issue of dialogue, the only way we can be able to move forward as a country is if all of us realize that we are all equal. If Chebukati calls for a dialogue, let Uhuru Kenyatta go. Let Raila Amolo Odinga go. Okay. If these two gentlemen can be able to meet, we will go very far in this country. Okay? That is issue number one. Number two, when you talk about demonstration, yesterday in the streets, we saw uh, uh, people demonstrating in Kiambu, throwing stones at vehicles, just because one person of the NASA coalition has uttered words which are considered to be offensive to the president. You know, it is not fair. <laughs> so what we need to do is this. We need to be honest with each other. The moment Huru Mwegai Kenyatta will show leadership and appear, it is not about religion, religious, uh, religious organization. Because we know what happened the last time when Chebukati came out and said, I have got this team which I have now, uh, and he left out Chiloba and the rest. The, the same same religious organization went and met them in, uh, in a hotel in Naivasha and all of a sudden all those wounds were healed. So what we are saying is this. Number one, when Chebukati calls Raila Molodinga and Uhuru Mwegai Kenyatta, both of them should go. It, we don't want a situation whereby one person feels superior. I, I really, well, really well, admired okay. the move that Raila Molodinga <coughs> made. He went there. He do you there think he will do that tomorrow? Will if, he did, if both of them did that, then we are moving forward. Because yeah. at the end of the day, this country is, is more important than these two individuals. You know, Fred, um, uh, we must be very honest uh, with ourselves. You have heard from my friend here that uh, based on the item or the agenda that uh, Chebukat has outlined for the proposed meeting, he has just clearly said here on national television that he doesn't think that meeting will be effective because their, their agenda, the irreducible minimum, is not part of the agenda. You can tell clearly, yes. even that meeting must fit within the framework of what NASA wants. Um, there is one sort of discussion, and discussions and dialogue is okay. There is one dialogue that I hope my colleagues, uh, especially from NASA, uh, can join together with the Jubilee. We actually think of what this, uh, the Supreme Court, the, the, the systematic challenge that is there about elections. We need to visit certain laws. We need to visit the electoral framework that and, we have. And but, uh, Peter Mariro, we, we, we'll we, we, Patrick yes. Mariro, sorry, will be coming to that particular headline because it's also a major discussion point. It that's is also one of the big headlines. But before we get there, I need us to finish with this issue of dialogue. That, yes. That's what I'm saying. Yes, that was yes, what I'm saying. That's exactly this what issue I'm saying. Of dialogue, even before we come to possible uh, amendment friend, laws. I'm, I'm not even going to the to the deep of the mm -hmm. amendment laws. What I'm saying. That is part of, that is what I would expect the dialogue NASA should be pushing. Not pushing of sucking which stuff, not uh, pushing of which stuff to suck at the IEBC. Do you want us to go there and say, look, <laughs> suck that director? And then, it is now, co I'm completely convinced, rather than before, more than before, that actually the conditions, the reducible minimum conditions that NASA has outlined, it is completely clear that the main aim by the, uh, this is not political talk. The main aim really is to avoid these elections in on uh, uh, of uh, uh, I can tell you. Fred, I can tell you. Look yes. at it one by one. Even uh, Safra, uh, Safra Morfon, uh, IEBC has clearly written to NASA and told them that look, based on the timeline that we have, we really can't be talking about changing the IT, the IT provider, you know. But NASA is pushing and saying we have time. In fact, I had the, 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 the honorable, the honorable Prime Minister, former Prime Minister, saying they have actually five companies that are ready to supply that IT solution. I don't know where they got the five. Uh, okay. You know, I, I, I was actually surprised. I, I think, you know, we are just about to go on a that break. That is We are just about to go on a break. I'll, I'll give one uh, more chance to Fred, one of you as well. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Fred, let, me, let me say something. Uh, Fred, uh, it must go on record that, uh, that no one is against dialogue. Indeed, another has been the forefront.
calling for dialogue from the very beginning. And any structured talks is welcome. That must be very, very clear. And on the issue of the clergy, also initiating another parallel program, I mean a process of dialogue, is also welcome, even though in the past our experience with these, some of these clergy people uh, has been that uh, they tend to blow up <coughs> very serious uh, national issues. But finally, Fred, I've seen attempt. Yesterday when uh, Honorable Uru Kenyatta was speaking somewhere, I think he was in Meru, some attempt to demonize demonstrations or to trivialize demonstrations. Let me remind everyone who cares to listen that this country has reached where it is in terms of the expansion of the democratic space and the gains we have made as a country as a result of agitation which was done on the streets, which was done in the trenches mm -hmm. and demonstration is sure. part of them. I am also aware that the, the Jubilee leadership uh, as was never a uh, part and parcel of these demonstrations or agitation. I, I th I th and, and, and therefore, they must understand. They must understand. The president that said very clearly that he is supporting demonstrations because it is constitutional well, only if they become violent. Okay. It's good to set the record tra straight so that people are not the, misled again on this. Uh, you, national you must television. Also understand okay. that, that, that. Yes, that, that, and, and even today, Jubilee demonstrations can also be on the streets. What's the problem? And I welcome the that is, that is, that is, the that is a democratic right. Okay, Nobody has monopoly yes. of how to demonstrate. Gentlemen, calm down. Let's take a break. We'll be back to discuss a lot more, <laughs> including this plan by Jubilee uh, to shake up IBC as well as the Supreme Court. That after the break.